Hello everyone, I'm going to answer a question today that was posted in one of my other videos. And it says, I have an employee leave tracker spreadsheet where I want to filter for the employees who are off a particular month. I have two date columns, start date and end date. I have a dashboard that shows the leave booking by month. I can filter for the employees who have booked their leave for a particular month. But if the duration of the leave stretches to the next month or the month after I cannot or the month after I cannot show them when I change to the next month because I am filtering on the start date only. How can I filter so that the employee shows in all the months where they will be absent? Well, the answer is yes, there is a way to do it with a filter function. So if an employee is out February through June, they will show up for every single one of those months when a month is chosen. So um, first and foremost, here's the formula we're working with. Don't worry if it looks complicated at first glance, we'll go through each part so you can understand how it works. First, let's talk about our data. In this example, we have column A, employee names, column B, start dates, column C, end dates. And then here in cell E1, uh, we're going to place the month uh, that we want to check to see if the employees are out. Uh, but we're going to use a pull down menu for this so we can choose any month. And I'll probably post a short about how to create a pull down menu. Now let's go over the filter function, which is used to extract data that meets a certain criteria. The basics, the basic syntax is this. All right, so array. Array is the range of data you want to filter. In our case, it's the employee names. The next part is include. So the condition or criteria for the filtering. So this part determines which data to include in the results. And now this last part, if empty, then what do you want to do? In this case, we're going to put uh, an empty cell. So double quotes with nothing in between. Now let's set our criteria. We want to, I got a little long winded. I might create a second video on this topic that goes into greater detail, but I think I know my audience and you just want the answer. So I'm gonna really end it right here. I'm not gonna go into further explanation, but you can, but you did get the, the gist, at least the, the foundation of how something like this would be created. Let's just see the formula in action. So let's take a look at Jackson Lee here. He took off February 28th to return March 5th. So if we choose February, Jackson Lee should be listed, and he is. And if we choose March, he should be listed there as well. And he is. So you see here, it works pretty well. Um, and let's say you decided you want some kind of text if, let's say we chose October. If we chose October, we have no absences. It says no absences because I replaced the empty quotes with still two quotes and the word no absences. You can leave it blank by just deleting everything inside the quotes and then you'll have an empty cell. But it might be useful just to have something up there. And it'll tell you right away that it's actually working. Well, that's it for this video. I will go into detail another time. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them here. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And you'll find all the details of this in the description. Thanks and have a good day.